Are you serious? Are you serious? Hillary Clinton in meltdown. Seriously, in meltdown. Hillary Clinton says that President Donald Trump's campaign likely guided the Russians before the U.S. election. Really? So, so if they were guiding the Russians, why guide the Russians? If, if, if you have the information, just do it yourself. Um, she's really stressed out, guys, looking bad. Really looking really uh, haggard and, 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 and wore down over this whole thing. She can't let go. The global elitists can't let go. It was her life's dream. It was her goal. Remember? Remember? 1986. This was the plan to get Bill Clinton elected and then Hillary elected later to be, and then that would be the final U.S. election. But there's a problem. Donald J. Trump won the election because the American people and the prayers of God's people uh, uh, turn this thing around, put the brakes on the beast. Well, uh, reports coming out of California now. Hillary Rodham Clinton said yesterday she suspects that President Donald Trump's campaign gave guidance to the Russian government and its propaganda efforts during last year's U.S. presidential campaign. Hillary, John Podesta typed his own email. You can't blame that on Trump. You can't blame that on the Russians. You can't even blame that on Julian Assange. It's John Podesta who's hanging out late at night with the creeps, the creepy witches and warlocks and, and the spirit cooking and all that other stuff that goes on in the darkness. Can't blame. Can't, and, and it's you, Hillary, that did your own private emails. It was you busted up all those different servers and smashed all those cell phones and lied to Congress 13 times. Uh, are you serious? You used the, it was you that used the beach, the bleach, bleaching of those um, micro bits trying to get rid of those. And it was you, it was your assistant, Uma Abedin, who was a daughter of the Muslim Brotherhood, who married Anthony Weiner who had 650,000 of your emails on his website while he was texting little girls. Or I should say sexting little girls. I mean, Hillary, please. Enough with the crybaby stuff. It's over. Put a fork in it. It's done. Well, uh, she says it's got to be collusion. Trump says there is no collusion. I don't know what you're talking about. It's ridiculous. But you're going to see a witch hunt continue at, in Congress they're going to be bringing in, oh, Samantha Power. And they're going to be bringing all these other people. They're going to do nothing but trash Trump. We're going to watch this spectacle go on for probably three weeks. While that goes on, your cable news networks like Morning Joe and Lawrence O'Donnell and Rachel Maddow and Chris Matthews and everybody at CNN, except Kathy Griffin. She's gone. Of course, she was uh, released or separated or what's the, I don't want to use, uh, gotta be careful, uh, dis, dismembered from CNN, from the CNN team. I'm not sure what terminology to use these days because of that horrible picture of the beheading of Donald Trump. But perfect timing though. She did it just in time for Bilderberg. They had to have a sacrifice this year since the owl and the effigy is done always at uh, Bohemian Grove. Well, anyway, We'll keep a close eye on all of this. I'm going to cover it all. I'm not going to back down, guys. Why should I? I understand spiritual wickedness going on in high places. I understand that the spirit of the Antichrist is rising. And as this beast tries to shake free, realizing it's not going to get an easy road into the power of the world, this ugly beast of seven-headed monster with teeth like iron, Daniel said, is starting to rise right out of the sea with seven heads and ten horns and crowns and the name blasphemy. Are you saved? We're in the last days. Don't miss today's live broadcast. Starts at 12 noon Eastern at my website at www.publicallyprophecy.com. Are you serious?